Ever wonder why when you stop exercising, your muscles vanish faster than friends on moving day? Muscle atrophy is your body's way of saying, hey, if we're not using this, let's not waste energy maintaining it. It's an ancient survival code. One that evolved when conserving energy meant surviving the next food shortage. Think of your muscles like a constant home renovation project. Old walls or proteins are always being torn down while new walls are going up. But if you stop training, your body says, hey, if we're not using this room, let's tear down and save the resources. So it turns down muscle protein synthesis and cranks up protein breakdown, causing your muscles to atrophy or shrink. Scientists can actually measure muscle atrophy or hypertrophy with what's called nitrogen balance. Think of it as your body's protein ledger. Protein brings nitrogen into the body. Waste products take nitrogen out. When you're training and eating well, you're in positive nitrogen balance, holding on to more nitrogen than you lose, which means you're building or maintaining muscle. When you stop moving, your body goes into negative nitrogen balance. Most of your nitrogen is being removed, while some is used to make other non-muscular proteins. Inactivity also causes your mitochondrial efficiency to drop and your nerve connections to weaken, making it easier to stay inactive, and that in turn brings on even more atrophy. Just a week or two of inactivity can start that downward trend. And even sooner in older adults and people who don't get enough protein. The obvious fix is simple. Resistance training and quality protein flips your nitrogen balance back to positive, kickstarting protein synthesis again. So muscle atrophy isn't your body punishing you. It's just maintaining energy the way it's designed to. But the good news is you can always get it back, just like those friends once all the heavy lifting is done and the pizza arrives. As always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.